So I've been doing a lot of testing with upscalers recently, and there is actually a new better way to upscale your AI graphics for free. And in this video, I'm going to show you the steps to get these better results. And I'll also do a comparison to explain to you why this method is better. So the tool or the website we're going to be using for this is dgb.lol. This is still, in my opinion, the best free online upscaler out there. If you know any other ones, then let us know in the comments down below. But even upscale, that tool that you download and install on your device, even they now charge for Apple users, I believe, to use their software and it, it does run on your device. So if you've got a slow computer, a slow laptop, that's not going to be very useful. Whereas this runs online on someone else's server and it is free to use even in bulk and previously we would have always used the AI image upscaler that's what I've been recommending in my videos because well you can use it in bulk you can increase the quality eight times so 8x is the largest upscale model which is crazy for a free upscaler and the quality competes very well with most of the other upscalers out there, even the paid ones. So now what's changed is they have some new tools. They, they added some things to the list of tools recently and the AI retouch is actually a better way to upscale images because the difference between these two is AI image upscaler, what it does is it increases the quality from say a thousand pixels to 4,000 pixels, but it essentially just sharpens up the image and it denoises the image so it tries to get rid of some of the noise but most of the time if you zoom in really closely you can still see artifacts and it, it looks very AI in a sense and not too realistic it increases the quality for sure and makes it sharper but some of the details do look wonky and you're going to see this in the comparison afterwards whereas AI retouch this uses AI to essentially reference the original image and recreate that image at a higher dimension. That gives way better results and at the same time increases the quality as well. So first of all, let me show you how to use this. All you have to do is click on AI retouch and I will leave the link to this in the description, of course. Then you want to drag in your graphic and that's it. You just click submit on this and it will be added to the queue. This tool takes a lot more processing power, a lot more GPU power to actually upscale these graphics. That's why at the moment you can only use it with one image at a time. However, if you're looking for the best quality results with upscaling for free, then this is definitely worth using. Oh, and by the way, if you want to download your upscaled graphics, then you need to head to the My Files section. This is essentially your queue. And once these are done, you can click download next to the relevant file. And you can also use this purple button at the top to download the entire list. Now, one thing to note here is that the AI retouch currently only puts out your files at around 3,000 300 pixels, which I know some of you are going to say, well, that's not good enough for the use on t-shirts. However, there's also a workaround for this and that's what I'm going to show you now. So essentially we can go to the traditional AI image upscaler and drag the AI retouch result into here. And you can use this in bulk as usual. So if you've retouched 10 different graphics, drag them into here at once. Then you want to enable the enhance input image feature right here and change the model to a 2X upscaler. So if we choose the DGB Law Sharp 2X right here and submit this, then it is going to change the file from 3000 pixels to around 6 thousand pixels which is way enough for t-shirt design and you're probably thinking well why wouldn't i just use this upscaler from the beginning with the original file and choose the 6x upscaler well the results look way worse and that's what i'm going to prove to you now by comparing the different tests the different models that i've used right here in photoshop right so here we are looking at this koala holding an american flag by the way i created this graphic with kittle ai the original which we're currently looking at is saved at 1024 by 1024 pixels and clearly when we zoom in it's a very low quality image it's very blurry around the edge and the details also very pixelated it's got this kind of half tone effect right here which usually does look kind of strange when you upscale it or vectorize it so let's see what the 6x sharp version looks like in comparison that is the traditional upscaler so here we're looking at the 6x result we can see if we zoom into these half tones that they kind of look like you know strange artifacts and or, or nets kind of 
it, it doesn't look much like the original. If I show that again, original 6X. Don't get me wrong, the 6X upscaler, if we look at some of the sort of flat surfaces and edges right here, it's done a really good job at making this crisp. And if we show the original again, yeah, you can definitely see the improvement right there in quality and it does sit at 6,000 pixels which, which is going to make it print well but the details on this 6x upscale definitely look strange like this doesn't look great it screams AI and that is why I wanted to test this AI retouch as well which we've got now in the queue to look at next so let's go back to the beginning right here with the ear and I'm going to hide the 6x sharp option and we'll see the AI retouch now so this is AI retouch this is sharp AI retouch 6x sharp let's also compare the ai retouch with the original here's the original ai retouch i think you can see that ai retouch stays a lot closer to the original it actually kind of maintains this halftone effect and it doesn't create some strange nets like if you look at this leg as well that actually looks like the ai just redrew the image at a higher resolution which is literally what it does so original image right here ai retouch it's not 100 the same but it's a lot closer to what we actually want if we compare again ai retouch with the 6x sharp then here 6x sharp and here's the ai retouch so even though this result right here is only about 3,000 pixels in width and height i think it looks a lot better than the 6x upscale. If we look at it from afar, it's a bit harder to see, but this definitely looks a lot closer to the original. So AI retouch and original is being compared right now. The only downside is, if we zoom in very closely, that on the AI retouch, some of the edges, they still look a bit blurry and they've got this kind of ghosting effect going on right here, whereas the 6x sharp looks cleaner it's got more of a clear surface and outline and doesn't look as blurry so 6x sharp right here and this is ai retouch but that is the issue that we solve by taking the ai retouch result and putting it in the upscaler and just using a 2x model so that's the last thing we're going to look at right here so currently we're seeing the ai retouch and here is ai retouch plus 2x sharp ai retouch plus 2x sharp so now not only does it look better or closer to the original better than a traditional upscaler but it's also crisp sharp and it has the right dimensions for the use on t-shirts so ai retouch plus 2x sharp is what we're looking at right here and if we compare this to the 6x sharp you're going to see a massive difference if you look at the details this is 6x this is the ai retouch route definitely a nicer result that is closer to the original and is actually high enough in dimensions if you look at the stars as well i think you can also see that this looks better yeah so this is 6x sharp and this is ai retouch i think the stars look a lot better if you focus on the edges as well 6x sharp doesn't look that great here ai retouch actually made a better job of kind of redrawing these stars at a higher quality so overall if you look at these graphics then going down the ai retouch route is definitely definitely better it is a more advanced method than just using a normal image upscaler and that is what a lot of the big tools are now also moving towards so midjourney's got their own upscaler that uses ai to rebuild the image uh, ideogram has just introduced that and this right here is a free way to do it online regardless of where your graphic comes from and it actually has some really good results and i'm also going to compare this at the ai retouch feature to the mid journey and the ideogram upscaler in a different video so just to quickly recap if you're looking for the best results with a free upscaler then go to dgb.lol which is linked below use the ai retouch feature which is enough if you're selling your designs on stickers for example but if you need them for the use on t-shirts or something larger then take the result from the ai retouch and put it in the ai image upscaler where you should then run it with a 2x model if you always have a hard time removing the background from your ai art then watching this video right here will teach you some new methods that will make your life easier